everybody, it's me, Lala. Thanks for stopping by to watch another video. Welcome to our new subscribers and welcome back to our subscribers who have been with us for a while. I appreciate your support of me and of our channel. And I hope you enjoy this video. I do. I hope you enjoy this video. Happy Sunday, everybody. It is May 28th, 2017. Even in my wackadoodle mind, it is. And I am 100% sure I have the date right. So I am very, very happy about that. <laughs> I'm working hard at it. I'm working hard at it. So I hope everybody has had a great, great weekend. Tomorrow is... A holiday Monday, Memorial Day, so if you have off tomorrow, I hope that you are able to enjoy your day off. If you do not, I'm sorry. <laughs> Louise does not have school tomorrow, and Chewy does not have to go to work tomorrow, so um, they have decided that they will be golfing tomorrow, so at some point tomorrow, they will go and um, play a round of golf. So, it has been a busy weekend here at Lilybug Lane. Um, yesterday was the first game that Chewy and Louise attended of the Pirates. Is that, was it the first game, Chewy? First time we attended, yes. Yes, the first time they attended for the Pirates this season. And it was a beautiful, beautiful night for baseball. Absolutely beautiful. And it was free t-shirt free night. And this is the t-shirt that they got um, they each got one when they went into the park, so isn't that nice? That's a nice shirt, isn't it? It is. So in the Pittsburgh Pirate colors, so that's a very, very nice shirt. And so both Chewy and Louise received one of those. Um, Louise loves to go on free t-shirt night, so... Um, you know, we don't buy, we don't buy souvenirs typically down at the park, although Chewy did make the mistake of buying Louise a hat a couple of years ago down at the park and he paid a pretty penny for it. So anyway, um, during the Pirates won, very, very exciting. During the game, one of the things that they do is if there is a home run in the park, everybody gets a coupon. And the coupon that they uh, passed out to everyone was this Denny's coupon. And what this is, what this Denny's coupon is good for is a free original Grand Slam breakfast with the purchase of a beverage. So all you have to do is buy a beverage and you'll get a free Grand Slam breakfast. Uh, you know, their free, their Grand Slam breakfast, you get it for free. Well... Very, very interesting. If you read the back of the coupon right here, this is only good at Denny's that are surrounding the Pittsburgh area, not as far up as we are from Pittsburgh. And it is only one coupon per table. So, for instance, let's say that you had five guys that went to the game together. And they each got one of these coupons, and they decided, hey, after the game, let's stop at Denny's and redeem our coupons. So they all sit at the same table. Is the waitress going to honor this coupon? Because right on the coupon, it says one coupon per table. So very, very interesting. And, you know, since we had that issue with the CoverGirl makeup coupon, um, Chewy has been very vigilant about reading any coupons that he gets. So, very, very interesting. I'm sure that Denny's would honor the coupon. I'm sure that they would. But it's just very, very interesting, the wording on the coupon. So, they had a very, very lovely time at the game um, last night. There were a couple of foul balls that, that came into their area. They were on the first baseline, you know, within 10 rows of the first base of the field and so Chewy was a little bit nervous that they might get a foul ball their way and there were a couple hit their way but not not enough you know nothing nothing uh concerning or alarming so they had a very nice time in the Pirates won and we were very very happy about that so then this morning Chewy woke up bright and early and went and played golf with some of his buddies so he had that to do and then came home from golf and he and Louise went to the movies and saw the newest Pirates of the Caribbean movie. Now, stop it, Pom Pom. He wants some of the goodies that I'm going to share with you. Now, they said it was a very, very good movie, but 
Chewie says that he he cannot see how they would do another Pirates of the Caribbean movie. He says they would really, really be stretching it to try and get another movie out of the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise. Um, that's another that's another one that they've just milked it for all it has been worth, right? Right. So anyway, so we've had a very, very busy weekend. Tomorrow, again, Chewie and Louise are planning to golf tomorrow. Um, they went to the movies today. After the movies, um, we I went up to the Dollar Tree and to the Walmart, and then we went to the Redhead for dinner. We met at the Redhead, and then we went to Lowe's. And I have some goodies to share with you, and that's the whole point of why I'm here tonight. <laughs> but y'all know how I love to run my mouth. Y'all know how I love to chat with ya. So anyway, so let me tell you something. I unwrapped that first roll of deco mesh and within three minutes I realized why I do not like deco mesh because I'm not good at it. I am not good at it. Oh, let me tell you something. I was saying words that I had never even heard myself before. I was so frustrated. My irritation level was at a solid eight going up to a nine. I was not not in a good place working with that deco mesh. Now, I know, I know that a lot of you like it, and I like it too in small doses. The whole point of me buying those five rolls of deco mesh was because I was not on the ball and did not get a patriotic wreath for our front door. Um, you know, we had a patriotic wreath for the front door, but it was so jacked up and faded and old that Chewy didn't want to put it on the front door. And of course, what did I do? I stayed home instead of going out and finding a patriotic wreath, so we had no patriotic wreath. And then Louise said, Mom, we don't have a patriotic wreath. And I was like, okay, I'll take care of that. So, you know, of course me, I go on YouTube and look at some tutorials. And I think to myself, oh, Lala, you can do it. You can do it, Lala. You know, it was like the little engine that could. I, I, I just kept building myself up, building myself up, building myself up. I really wanted that dang burlap ribbon that Teresa had, but, you know, things don't always work out the way you want them to. So I got the deco mesh instead. And I was nervous about it. I was nervous. And um, so I waited until Louise and Chewy, you know, were doing things. I was alone. I didn't have any irritations around me. I had some Mountain Dew with me. And I started that wreath. And like I said, within three minutes, I knew it was not going to work for me. And I'm, I'm telling you something right now. I sent Teresa a message and I told her, I cannot do this. I cannot do this. I can't do it. And she was kind enough to try and build me up and say, you you know, it, you can, you can, you can do it. Yeah, I couldn't do it, Teresa. I couldn't do it. What was I thinking? What was I thinking? Ten years ago, I probably would have been able to do it, but I couldn't do it. So four rolls went back to the Dollar Tree today. That's why I went to the Dollar Tree. So let me share with you the exchange, and then I'll share with you a couple of things that I got. So four... Uh, four rolls of the deco mesh went back to the Dollar Tree. The fifth roll went right into the trash can. I balled it all up. I shoved it into the trash can and I pounded it down into the trash can and told it I never wanted to see it again. Never, ever, ever. I know, right? I know. I'm a complete wackadoodle. The, the deco mesh I don't know how people are doing it. Now, I understand there's a couple of different methods. I like the looping method. That's the, that's the look that I like. I understand there's a couple of different methods or a couple of different looks, but I like the looping look. And yeah, I just couldn't get it. I just could not get it. So, you know what? That's okay. I don't have, you know, that's okay. It's all right. So anyway, we're, we're over the deco mesh. We're over the deco mesh. Fail! Deco mesh fail. I know, right? I know. Okay, so I took four of the rolls back because thankfully I didn't unwrap all four rolls at the same time because then I would have had to keep all four rolls because I don't open something up like that and then take it back. I, do, I just don't do that. So I exchanged them. So I got these 
um, exfoliating mittens, which I think are absolutely adorable. Now, you know they have the exfoliating gloves, and if you've ever used exfoliating gloves with fingernails, it's rather hard to get them on um, in the shower. So I thought these were really cute. So I went ahead and picked up one, one left and one right, or two, two right, lefts or two rights, however you want to look at it. But I picked up these, and I'll be very excited to see how these work. I think these will work, um, you know, a lot nicer than the gloves will. So we'll see about that. But I thought this was a very, very pretty blue. It's like a Caribbean blue or a Caribbean blue or a Calypso blue. I know, right? Very, very pretty. So I got those, and I'm excited about that. And then, of course, I picked up two cards. And if you have not looked at the cards at the Dollar Tree, then I would invite you to look at the cards at the Dollar Tree. They are absolutely fabulous. They are a dollar or two for a dollar, depending on what you pick out. They do have different faith cards, meaning that they have like, you know, Christian cards and Jewish cards, you know, things like that. They also have different, um, um, ethnicity cards, meaning that they have like the, do you remember, do you know the mahogany line at um, Hallmark? That is for African Americans, a line of cards for them. Um, they also have those at the Dollar Tree. I have seen those there. They also have different language cards. I have seen um, Hebrew, and I have seen Spanish cards at the Dollar Tree. So, you know, if, if those, any of those types of cards interest you too, check that, check out the Dollar Tree for the cards. Now, I'm not saying every Dollar Tree carries them, but it is worth a look for the money. Um, you know, it's redonkulous to pay any more than a dollar for a card. I think cards are the biggest ripoff going right now. No, that's not true because I think other things are a ripoff too, but you know, whatever. We're not going to get into that right now. So then of course, I found these. Now, I take my makeup off every night. You know that that was a, uh, that was a goal of mine for 2017 to, was remove my makeup every night. And what I use to remove my makeup is, is coconut oil. And a while back, I got a big Mamma Jamma jar of it at the Big Lots for $5. Well, they now have it at the Dollar Tree. At least they had it at my Dollar Tree. I did not clear the shelf. There were six of them on the shelf. I got four. So, here you go. And these are the same ones that they sell at the Big Lots. Um, this is 7.25 fluid ounces. Now, it is in a solid form right now. Coconut oil will turn into a liquid over 75 degrees. It will turn into a liquid in the jar. So, you know, just so you know that, because if you look at it and say, wait a minute, that's not, that's not fluid ounces. Well, this is, it's, this is the solid form of it, because it is actually a, actually, actually a liquid. Now, I want to show you something very interesting. They're all sealed on the top. So, um, excellent, excellent, excellent. And I like these little jars. I like these, and they don't expire until April of 2019. So I went ahead and picked up four. I left two on the shelf, which I was happy to do that because I still have some of my big Mamma Jamma jar left. So if you do not know the benefits of putting coconut oil on your face to take off makeup, then, you know, you may want to check into that. Pons is real good, too. Um... You know, Pons, Noxzema, woo, Noxzema. That's like, Noxzema on your face is like eating a, um, what do you call that mint? What do you call that, that mint? The one that's chocolate with the, oh, what is that called? Darn it, I don't even know what it's called. Peppermint patty, Pe you know, a peppermint patty, York peppermint patty. When you go like that, I love that commercial, and you see their eyes dilate. I know, right? Okay, I'm running out of time. And, of course, it would not be a Dollar Tree trip without me finding what? Books! I found two more books! I love books from the Dollar Tree! Let me talk. That sounded like a munchkin, didn't it? Anyway, I'm not on anything, just in case you know. Although I have not taken my magnesium yet this evening, and I need to because we're in the 7 o'clock hour. And you don't want to take that stuff too close to going to bed. So I found two books. You know I love cover art. That's what, that's what draws me to the book. So this one is called The Lost Husband, and this is by Catherine Center. 
And I just thought that was a really nice scene on the front of that book. And it's one of the uh, big paperbacks that I love. And then this one, which is The Secrets She Keeps. And this is by Deb Coletti. So this is a real good one, too. And this is a uh, big paperback. So you know how I love the big paperback books, right? Right. Because why? They're fabulous. That's why. Let's wet my whistle, shall we? We shall. It's wet. Okay, then I went to the then I went to the Walmart. I didn't have anything to return at the Walmart, but I just wanted to go over there because Meredith had told me to try the lemon cookie wax melts, and I wanted to see about the lemon cookie wax melts. Plus, I wanted to pick up a couple more of the cupcake wax melts that I got because they are fabulous. So here's what I got. I got some combos because I just love combos, and these are the pretzel and the cheddar, so I got those. And then I got two movies from the $5 place. I got Gone with the Wind, which, frankly, Scarlett, I don't give a damn. Um, absolutely love this movie. Absolutely love this movie. And then we got the Goonies. We got the Goonies! So, $5 a piece. Very happy about that. Now, you all know that we're switching over from VHS to exclusively DVD. So, some of these movies are replacements for the VHS tapes that we have because we got rid of our VHS player, which, you know, upsets me because then how am I going to watch Star Wars? Because the only way to watch Star Wars is on VHS, right? Right, I know. So, then I picked up two of these candle warmers. Um... <clears throat> Susan, last year when she visited, she gifted me with one of these, but I think it has a short in it or something because it's not staying on consistently and that could be dangerous. So I went ahead and got a replacement and then I went ahead and got one of these for upstairs in our bedroom because that dang candle that I got from uh, Target, you know, the spun sugar one that I like so much, it's burning very funky, so I don't know what's going on. And, uh, of course, it's a soy candle. That's why it's burning the way it is. And then I picked up this. Um, Erin at the Green Notebook had done a haul, and she had picked up a real pretty um, teal one, like a real pretty teal blue one. And she said that it came in different colors. And so I went ahead and picked up this. Now, the reason that I picked this up, that I needed a notebook, is because I use a notebook, you all have seen it before, to put our notes in it for our videos. Um, you know, anything that I want to tell you guys or any any important information that I don't want to uh, miss, I put in the notebook and then I have it sitting here in front of me on the butler's counter um, while we do our videos and I can refer to it. So I thought that we would all like this, the pink camo with the gold. I think that's really, really pretty. And this is by Pink Sheen. Chandelier, and this is their Glamo collection. So, and I think it's neat because it has a gold spiral binding right here. So, I thought that was pretty, and um, we will use this for our vi for our video notes. So, just to let you all know, if you all give me any announcements or share any information that you know you want to share with the rest of our friends, it, it will go in this notebook because I only have two pages left in our other notebook. I know, right? Isn't that fabulous that now we get to do another notebook? I'll tell you, I, you know, it, it sounds scripted when I use the notebook and when I have notes and stuff, but you all know what happens when I don't have notes. I get the name wrong, I get the date wrong, I get the relationship wrong, I get the info wrong. So it's better for me at this point in my life to be able to have some notes in front of me. So that's, that's why that happens. So anyway, okay, so let me share these wax melts with you because, oh wait, wait, there's some more things in here. There is some more, okay. So I got this, this is new, this is new, and this is called Sport Quick Dry Scalp Spray. Now, let me tell you why. First of all, we all know about Chewy, right? Where I am trying desperately to save every last hair on his head that I can, and uh, sometimes he will be working outside, and he does not like to wear a hat because it's too hot. And he does have a couple of buffs, and he has some bandanas that he can use, and he has one of those mission buffs that you can wet and put on your head, but you know, sometimes he just doesn't want to do that. So I got this scalp spray. It's FPS, F, SPF 
30. Now Louise will use this too when we go to the shore because she is very, very fair skinned and she has a part in her hair and typically it gets sunburned. So I went ahead and got this for both Chewy and Louise. So very, very exciting. I picked up some more of the uh, cupcake, which is the Sensationals. So I picked that up. Absolutely love this. I've been burning this for the for the last couple days, and it's wonderful. Meredith, I went ahead and picked up. Is this the one that you were talking about? Because this was the only lemon cookie one I could find. It's called Ice Lemon Sugar Cookies, and it smells very, very nice. So I will be anxious to uh, burn this in the wax melter and see how that does. And then, of course, you know, I picked up my base wax. So I picked up five more of those, and this is by Mainstay, and it's just the vanilla. It's just the vanilla. It's absolutely fabulous. And then I went ahead and picked up this. This is the American Home by Yankee Candle, and this is the Sweet and Salty Caramel. Now, you all know that I like primitive foodie smells, and this is definitely a primitive uh foodie smell, but it has a very, very nice primitive scent to it. You can definitely smell the caramel, 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 tomato, tomato, pecan, pecan. No, a pecan is something that you pee in. A pecan is the nut that you eat. But anyway, I digress. Um, definitely smell the caramel, 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 whatever, and it, it has a very nice scent, so I will be very interested. Now, these are a little on the expensive side. I think these are like uh, I think these are like $2.49 or $3.49, but um, Yankee Candle does have a line at the at the uh, Walmart. Okay, before I run out of time here, I babbled too much. I got Louise this really cute top, and this is by No Boundaries. This is the Junior's line at uh, the Walmart, and it's just a little peasant top, and it has like some crochet down here, and it has a tie, and some elastic around the shoulders, and it's like a little flutter sleeve, so I think that'll look nice, and she'll definitely wear a tank top underneath of it, and it's in a real pretty like coral, um, coral tangerine color. It's coming across quite pink, but it's a coral tangerine color. So I got that for Louise, and she can wear that with khaki shorts or denim shorts or white shorts. That would look very cute with white shorts. And then I got her this dress. Now, we have a wedding to go to in July, and it is an afternoon wedding, and I thought that this would be super, super cute for her to wear to the wedding and um, with a little shrug over her shoulders in a, like a bright color. And then she has silver sandals, silver wedge sandals that we got her at Payless. But I thought that was a very, very pretty dress and quite appropriate for a wedding um, in July during the day. So with a little shrug over it, I think that will be really, really pretty. And this is by No Boundaries and it was $9.88. And it's like a it's like a polyester, silky polyester. So I really, really like it. It has a set in waist right here and um, just the spaghetti strap. So um, I think that'll be very, very nice for her um, for the wedding. So that's what she will wear. Then, of course, you all know how much I love this bracelet that I got the other day at the Walmart, right? Remember, because I showed it to you? Yeah, well, I went and got a backup. So now I have two. So this one will go into a velvet pouch in my jewelry drawer, and then that way when this one wears out or starts tarnishing, I will have this one. And I want to tell you, for those of you that are gold girls, this did come in gold. It did come in gold. I saw it. And it is $5. So I wanted to show that to you. So I got a backup because I absolutely love this bracelet. Absolutely love this bracelet. I would like to see QVC do something like this in sterling silver because I would snatch it up like a like a like a, a hungry dog. Then I got this. I've been looking at this for a while, and I got it, and I just love it. I don't know why I love it. It's a little bit loud. It's a little bit obnoxious, but that's okay because I'm like that sometimes. So it's okay. But it's a necklace and. 
It is just like rhinestones or clear glass or whatever you want to say, diamonds, if you're a, a gypsy sister. But um, I got this, and I think this is very, very pretty. And, you know, I can wear it down to the theater, or I can wear it for a video, or, you know, I can wear it at different times. So I thought this was very, very pretty. And, you know, it's all these are just loose. So I thought that was really pretty. And I had been looking at it for a while. This is from their 988 jewelry line. If you look in the jewelry department, they have a bunch of jewelry that is like 988. And this was one of the things. And I've been looking at it forever. And so I just decided to get it. So, so that's what I got. Okay, here's what I got to go on the door. I got it at Lowe's. It was $29.99. I know I paid too much for it, but we did get a military discount. I'm going to add some things to it, but I liked it, and that's why I bought it. But it's this wreath here. And so it has white and blue and, like, burgundy pit berries, and it's, like, got twigs, and it goes around in a circle. So um, <clears throat> I was very, very happy with this. And they had a lot, you know, they had a couple of different styles, but I like this one the best. I thought it would look best on the door. And I might add some, like, um, some tin stars to it, and then maybe a bow, a big burlap bow, or something like that. So I thought that would look really nice on the front door. I know it was a lot of, I know it was more than I should have paid, but you know what? I'm, I'm fine with it. I like it, and... It'll look good on the front door, and uh, we got a discount with Chewy's military discount at Lowe's. So anyway, so that's it. All my goodies, right? I know. Thanks so much for stopping by to watch this video. Please feel free to leave a comment down below. I am trying my hardest to catch up with comments, so I'm a little bit behind, so bear with me, and I will catch up. But please feel free to leave a comment and let me know what you're doing, your your sales, or your goodies, your activities, everything like that. I hope that you are all happy, healthy, and safe, and I will see you all again very, very soon. Good night!